Okay, section 6.7, the last section for this unit. In this lesson, I'd like to look at problems with multiple triangles. I can see that the outcomes I have here are not correct. Why is that not happy? Okay, let's get started with question 56. Two trees are 80 meters apart. From a point halfway between the trees, the angles of elevation to the tops of the trees are measured. What is the height of each tree to the nearest meter? So we're looking for the height of these two trees here. Let's label the one on the left x and the one on the right y. We know that the point at which they measured the angle of inclination was halfway between or the midway. So each of these lengths will be 40. And for this question here, it's really just straight regular trig. Solve the left side and solve the right side separately. So x is our opposite side from our angle of interest. And 40 is the adjacent. So we will say the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to x over 40. Multiply by 40 on both sides. And we can solve that for x, which I believe is 15 meters. For the right-hand side, for y, we have opposite again and adjacent. So opposite and adjacent is tangent again. Tangent of 25 degrees is equal to y over 40. And multiplying by 40 on both sides, we get y is equal to 40 times the tangent of 25, which I believe is 19 meters. That one's not too bad. Let's check out the next one. Two office towers are 50 meters apart. From the top of the shorter tower, the angle of depression of the base, sorry, to the base of the taller tower is 35 degrees. See if we can get rid of that. The angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 25 degrees. Determine the height of each tower to the nearest meter. So we want to find the whole height of the lower tower and the whole height of the larger tower. If I label the lower tower x, I can see that that dimension takes us up a little over halfway on the larger tower. And we can find the top half of that by calling it y which would be for this triangle on the right. So if we start, what we should do with these questions is we should make a plan and then start working piece by piece. So if I look at this, I know that this distance here is 50 between the two buildings. And that's the same distance as it is between the two buildings further up. So I could find x first. That would give me the bottom part of the building or the height of the lower building. And I could then find length y and add it to x to find the total height of the taller building. So let's give that a go. Starting with the lower triangle, 35 degrees. I know x is the opposite and 50 is the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent is tangent. Tangent of 35 degrees is equal to x over 50. Because x is being divided by 50, we'll multiply by 50 on both sides. And we get x is equal to 50 times the tangent of 35, which is 35 meters. Now, solving for y, we have y is the opposite, 50 is the adjacent, so tangent again. Equation is set up, multiply by 50 on both sides, and we get y is equal to 50 times the tan of 25, which is 23 meters. So the lower building is x, which was 35 meters, and the taller building is x plus y, so 35 plus 
23. Adding those together, we get 58 meters. There you go. Let's look at question 58. We'll talk about a plan for this one, and then I'll let you go to work on your own. From a window on the second floor of a house, a student measures the angle of elevation and depression of the top and base of a nearby tree. The student knows that she made the measurements 16 feet above the ground. Give your answer rounded to the nearest foot. Your answer to what? Let's find out the height of the tree. I think I missed that part. So if we're looking to find the total height of the tree here, we need to figure out the height of the lower section. Well, actually, we already know that. That's 16. Okay, well, if we know that, then all we need to do is find out the this upper section. Let's call it x. If I look at the small triangle related to x, I can see that I have an angle, but I have no other information in this triangle. So I cannot use trig or Pythagorean theorem or anything like that to find information about this upper triangle because I only have one piece of information. So because we have a second triangle that's related to that upper triangle, they have this common side here. If I could first find that side length using the lower triangle, let's call it y, I could then use that new value and the 16 degrees on the upper triangle to find x. Go for it. Good luck.